Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Logan. I am with Preferred Barrels and in this video we are going to cover the differences in our contour options. All right guys, our first contour that we are going to talk about is the taperless contours. And real quick for reference, this is our Ruger American Prefit. It's got our variable shoulder barrel nut on here as well as a threaded crown. Our taperless contours have a straight shank three inches forward of the breech with a radius down to a set cylindrical diameter starting five inches forward of the breech. They have a smoothed out two inch transition from the shank to the cylinder diameter. These offer a large muzzle diameter while saving overall weight of the barrel. For example, compared to a 26 inch 900 varmint at five pounds, five ounces, the 26 inch 900 taperless comes in at four pounds, four ounces. Our different sizes are 750, 810, 850, and 900, which should satisfy the needs of any type of shooter. We use the taperless contours on virtually all of our prototype or test barrels due to the limitless flute design potential, as well as having the same barrel wall thickness from five inches all the way to the muzzle, which we believe high, yields higher accuracy potential. A great application for the taperless barrels is when installing on a chassis where the barrel does not have to follow the contour inlet of a stock. All right, the next contour we are going to discuss is the varmint contour. Sitting in front of me is an M24 contour, which is a variant of a varmint contour. This is a shoulder prefit for a Bighorn TL3 short action. So this is a fixed shoulder barrel, again, with a threaded muzzle. A varmint contour is composed of a straight shank with a specified diameter and length from the breech with one continuous taper to the crown. MTU and M24 contours are a specific varmint profile with a specific muzzle diameter at 26 inches. If you order a shorter barrel than 26 inches, the crown diameter increases on the MTU and M24s. A standard varmint profile will end with the crown at the varmint diameter that you choose. For example, a 900 varmint barrel, if you order 20 inches, will be 900 at the crown. If you order an M24 at 20 inches, it will be much larger than 900 at the crown. For reference, an M24 contour does have a 900 crown at 26 inches, and an MTU has a 930 crown at 26 inches. Because of the shank diameter, we do not offer M24s and MTUs on all of our prefits. Typically, we only offer them on our fixed shoulder barrels. Moving on, our next contour is going to be the sporter contours that we offer. Sitting in front of me, I do have a shouldered impact precision prefit barrel. This particular barrel is a number two sporter. Sporter contours have a radius that starts from two and three quarters from the breech and creates a smooth transition to each taper diameter. Sporters vary greatly in weight, and I need to note that the numbers do not reference the barrel weight. Options include the number one, the number two, three, and four sporter contours. All of the specifications are available on our contours page. Muzzle diameters are based off of 26 inch lengths. Shorter lengths will reflect the same profile, meaning that if you order a barrel shorter than 26 inches, the crown will be larger than what is listed on our website. The Sendero Contour is actually a sporter variant and is sized between the number three and the number four sporter barrels. All right guys, to round off our list, we are now going to discuss Palma contours. Sitting in front of me, I have a medium Palma, which is a Remage prefit barrel. This one uses our Remage barrel nut, which is the same pattern as our Savage barrel nuts, meaning that you can use a Savage barrel nut wrench on your Remage prefit barrels. A Palma contour is composed of a straight shank and a two taper design. The straight shank section leads into the first taper with a transition to a second taper typically much longer than the first taper length. Options include light palma, medium palma, and heavy palma, as well as custom options where you can actually input your own specifications. When building a custom palma, you will need to know your shank diameter, the shank length, the first taper diameter at the end, as well as the length of the first taper, and finally, your muzzle diameter. Fixed shoulder barrels offer our largest contour selection from light to our heaviest contours such as MTU or M24, as well as palmas, varmints, sporters, and taperless. 
We've selected and generated our contours to offer a variety of options to accept common stock inlets or to allow our custom fluting designs. Variable shoulder prefits have a smaller shank diameter than fixed shoulders on all action types since the nut creates the large torquing surface. Due to this fact, some contours may not be available such as Sendero on a Remage or M24 and MTU due to the irregular shape that would be generated. We do not offer manufacturer contours. There are far too many to keep track of. Contour measurements and specifications can be found on our site for stock inletting or comparison. Hey guys, my name is Logan with Referred. I really hope this helped you out. Hopefully it helped you learn more about contours and what is the best choice for your build. Please drop a comment while you're here, like the video, share with your friends, and we will see you guys in the next one.